I wanted to do a video on how to start your pellet stove. And you first start with taking the road flare out of it. <laughs> okay. This is the portion I wanted to show you guys and kind of how it works. You get a lot of questions about it. And I'll set it down here so we can kind of go over it and how it works and where the oil drips. Oh, look. By the way, you see all these little scratch marks right here? Oh, the clean area and the little pile right there? I didn't do that. The cat did that. And it really sucks. All right. Just a warning for people that have this set up with a cat that slips in the shop every now and then. This is stainless pipe. It's a two-inch pipe. I recently smashed it down a little bit. Uh, I'd like for the pellets to sit a little bit longer instead of running so much on the sides. Um, this has lasted a long time. It's stainless. Those holes used to be really small. Uh, it eats whatever you put in here, it's going to eat it. Okay. So this is coming apart and it's about time to build another one. But this thing, I mean, this is half by half bar stock. It just disintegrates, eats it. I was using carbon at the start uh, expanded metal and I wouldn't get in three or four days out of it. It was just eating it up. So uh, I'm going to build another one of these um, and kind of fill you in on the best way to get it to heat or possibly the best way to get it to forge if you want to do that. You know, uh, This is versatile. Remember, this is a multi-fuel pellet stove. So we've got to be able to do it all. Right now it's not real cold in the shop. It's just a little bit damp and cool. And I just want to have a little heater on over here, you know. So this is how I clean it out. I haven't built anything special yet. That amount of ashes right there is, I think, two bags of pellets. Uh, it, it, they, they burn down to 1%. So that's pretty wild. After we clean this out, we're gonna slide our poor little grate. It's been abused, antiquated piece of junk. Slide our grate right up under the pellets there. And we can move that up or down. We can move the tubing down closer so they don't spill out as much. Or we can pull it up to where they spill out more. You can adjust it side to side, like that. I'm shaking everything I know. I just want to give you the picture. That completely under there. And that still seems like it's going to be too much. I'm going to drop it down some. All right, that should be pretty good. Now we're going to drop the pellets. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes it wants to vent this way instead of going out. We don't have the draft going good. This has got to come up, back down, and then out. So we, ne we didn't get the draft going good, and now it's, it's not working right. So all you have to do is light it back up and put it through that center hole. See, it's already changed the dynamics of my heater by smashing that pipe down. So you, you're just wanting to get heat into the tube back there. And as soon as it starts to draft, the rocket stove will start acting right. It'll start drawing and, and, and doing what it's supposed to do. We've got a big gap under here now. I really don't like that. Um, I mean, it'll work fine. But after it gets a little ash in it, it gets kind of built up some, it really starts to perform right. So we're drafting now. <laughs> and you'll start to hear it. Two things. It's a little bit close and it's just not enough fuel. 
So I'm gonna increase the fuel just a little bit. Now, before I do that, just about out of pellets. So I'm gonna show you where the pellets go and how I get away with loading more pellets than it can take. They won't have to mess with it. If you can get two bags in your pellet hitter, you don't have to mess with it all day on a semi-cold day. I call this idling. The stove's idling. It's just, it's putting off 150 degrees maybe. What we're gonna wanna do is add some fuel. Now when you add fuel, it's gonna put your fire out. The only thing's burning is just right here. So when we add, it might choke it out. And instead of letting the fire try to crawl back to the pellets, you're gonna wanna go ahead and light it again. You want enough fuel in the front to keep everything going. And it'll eventually get there, it just takes forever. Put some pellets in it. That bag of pellets does not fit in the hopper, but as it comes down, it'll empty this bag. So make sure you take the top of it and kind of fold it over this way, as you can. And it'll kind of just empty that way. And you'll come back and the bag will be hanging over here. So this is all day on a cold day. Now, if you really want to get it warm in here, like hot, like don't wear a jacket in the middle of winter, it takes another kind of fuel that I don't recommend. It's dangerous. You'll burn your whole house down. The nectar does drip down this one inch pot. It's important. You gotta be able to see it. This isn't for your viewing pleasure. If you can't see it, you don't know. If you put this all the way down this hot heater, it will carb up. And then this one inch even carbs up. So I have to actually uh, deal with that. I uh, built a few tools down there in the cat pee to address it. Um, I'll, have to, I'll make a whole video on how to clean this out when it does carb up. That's the best way I found, aside from using a bigger pipe, and that would be uh, more draft, you know, so it's something to think about. You push this a little bit forward, so when those front pellets start to burn, they'll start to feed a little bit more in the front. If you keep a good fire going up front, it will just incinerate everything behind it. I would say probably gonna run about 450, 500 degrees. Okay, right there at the end of the video, you saw a little bit more pellets that got in front. I pushed the grate in just a little bit more so they could start to trickle over and fill that hole in where I was losing a lot of draft underneath it. And you can tell it really started to draft right. But when your bag empties, be ready to pull out. If you try to pull this out, or if you try to just put enough in it and kind of heap them on top, you're gonna make a mess on your shop floor. Just Leave it up there, bend it over, and it'll be like this later on. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, solutions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.